What's going on everybody? It's JB Claret again with another episode of Career Mode. Burnley, Burnley coming into this game on the back of a victory against Chelsea last week in the Premier League. In fact, two victories in a week as we beat also Senate St. Petersburg in the last episode in the Champions League. And today we play Newcastle United who are two point places and a point above us at the moment as we look at the league table. We're still... Um, we're still the 11 points behind Liverpool at the t uh, from the top. We're in 12th place. Um, but with wins and results, certain results probably hopefully going our way, we can leapfrog and maybe get up towards that top six area again. But as I say, we would need a few results up top for us to go out to go our way. But we need. But we. The thing is now we've won two games in a row. It's important that we carry on. New the game today against Newcastle was important. Um, because it would mean that, that we would jump in, in the, back into the top 10 hopefully all being well with a re good result here and we could do with a big win at Turf Moors really to get our confidence going so let's get over to back to, go back to three o'clock this afternoon where Newcastle visited Turf Moor uh, could Burnley keep their good week make it a hat-trick of wins within seven days against Newcastle United let's go over to Turf Moor earlier this afternoon and find out what exactly did happen good afternoon everybody well i didn't expect this to be a mid-table clash this year this season so far newcastle a point and they put two places above burnley at the moment but burnley buoyed by two wins in two different competitions within the last five or six days i'm looking to make it three wins out of three neymar yet to score but he's looking very sharp in that midfield area and it might be a, it won't be a matter it will be a matter of time before he does start finding the back of the net let's give you the uh, the team news then for this afternoon's game Burnley line up with the same 11 that have won their last two games in the league against Chelsea and of course in the Champions League in midweek against Zenit St Petersburg here and a look at the Newcastle side, some familiar faces as you'll see in this one as well. Tim Crow in goal, Chip on Martin is the man up top. Rolando Owens is one to watch out for. Wijnaldum, De Jong, Torvan, Vertonghen and Mbemba, the two centre-backs. They'll be difficult obstacles for Burnley to certainly overcome this afternoon. And he's had a, a quiet introduction in the English football, Neymar, but... Um, but he's starting to get with the pace of the game. He's used to the Spanish and Brazilian games. And the atmosphere is there. Referee today, Martin Atkinson from West Yorkshire. So he hasn't had too far to travel. And it's Newcastle in those famous black and white stripes. Black shorts and get us away. And attacking the Jimmy McElroy stand to our left. So left to right. Burnley going from right to left. Attacking the David Fishwick stand in the first half 4,000 Newcastle supporters made the trip from the northeast of England today a very autumn like day sun is out and shining which is very rare for turf ball because it's usually wet and windy here's Neymar now Redmond good early crossing there Balotelli lurking Rodriguez and Krull just about kept it out or kept it from going over the line TL tape here's Ronaldo De Jong is onside but he couldn't control the ball Trippier was barged off it and then on it again Ings trying to get it forward that's too close to the goalkeeper By Dara. Tiote. Sopitic's header. Neymar has possession. Looking for runners this time. One of them is Trippier. He's gone into a more central position so far in this first half. Right foot shot. And a very good save by Tim Crow. And I think it's come off a Burnley player last. Danny Ings, he, it's gone for a goal kick. But a good save from Tim Crow here. As you'll see again. But the flag was up in fact for offside. 
for tracking back now Neymar all oh, this Brazilian could do with a, a goal to get him going it's Neymar Junior good save by Tim Krull Balotelli going in and Idara picking up the pieces Ronaldo I'll play Trippier Burnley really hassling and harassing this Newcastle defence and forcing them into mistakes and Danny Ings has hit the outside of the post well what a good opportunity there for the man in form and he was mightily unfortunate Subatic towards Balotelli this time right foot good effort Krull couldn't hold on Neymar goes in and another good save from Krull double save there by the Dutch Newcastle goalkeeper that's a fine save from Neymar in actual fact great reactions there by the Dutch international Remmans corner Stones easy one there for Tim Crow in the end and Bemba for Newcastle oh Aarons has lost it to Smelter and now Ings on the chase he's got two in the area one of them is Redmond the other B Balotelli who, hit, who heads the ball onto the roof of the net and behind very unlucky Jetty two added minutes now we're into now and Tovan dangerous looking cross but Jack Butland was there very very competent, competently and very very comfortable and that was the last act of an action back first half where Burnley hit the post at least once and tested Tim Crow on a number of occasions but still no breakthrough for Neymar and the Burnley lads at the moment half time here it's Burnley nil Newcastle United nil welcome back to the turf more for the start of the second half and a half time change for Burnley Ruben Loftus cheek the play says well Hughes who was looking a little bit tired towards the end of the first half and away we go then in the second half and Loftus Cheek already getting his first touch. Burnley now going towards the Ma Jimmy McElroy end to our right, uh, to our left rather. Here's Rodriguez. Lost the ball and then kept hold on to it and then and ran into Mbemba. But then giving away to Ruben Loftus Cheek. Tried to get his shot off, but uh, he couldn't. He was sounded by black and white shirts. And Castle attacking the end where 4,000 in there. Two in army are better. Are uh, congregated behind at the moment Chick Tielte Sopatic with a super challenge and he's got Ings on his way and he's got Balotelli as well on his way now then he's got Rodriguez now square if he can play it in Rodriguez empty goal and the breakthrough has finally arrived and it has been coming right from the world go and Jay Rodriguez the skipper who now leads by example a little diving header from six yards open goal has hit the jackpot for Burnley and gives them uh, on balance a very very well deserved lead 1-0 with 10 minutes gone in the second half good ball out towards Aaron's And Aarons is ambled away here. Danger here for Burnley. Aarons is still going. And Aarons gets the shot in. And in the end, it's out for a goal kick. But for one moment then, I thought Aarons was going to strike goal. But he struck it too hard. And over the top it went. A substitution. Sim Jeong is going to be replaced by Musa Sidsoko. As Newcastle have to try and get back into the game.
John Stones. Now Ruben Loftus cheek. Jay Rodriguez, the goal scorer. Here's Mario Balotelli again. Oh, what skills. What brilliant skills. And what a brilliant goal. And that'll settle the nerves inside Turf Moor now. Because Mario Balotelli makes it 2 0. With a trademark finish. No chance for Tim Krull. And Burnley now have one foot, have one hand on those three crucial points. And will go above Newcastle if things stay the same in the table tonight. Eight for the season for Balotelli. 2 0 now to Burnley. Smelter. Uh, Cabela's come on for Tobin, who has been absolutely poor really today. And here comes Robin, Ruben Loftus cheek. Well, he should have made it three there. Perfect position. But blaze it over the bar with his left foot. Well, Trinkroll already breached twice. Could have been breached a third time, but Loftus Cheeks shooting boots were off target there that time. Yamat. Good tackle by Loftus Cheek, but Yamat has won the ball back, and here's Cabela. And the ball into towards Chippo Mottin. And Burnley getting half away, and Bemba. And here's Redmond. That's a good ball. Now Neymar. He'll run in on the goal himself. He's got enough pace to get past the last man. Now it's just him and Tim Krull. Can he get his first goal? No. What a remarkable save from Tim Krull because it looked to all the world as if the Brazilian was going to get his first goal for Burnley. But Tim Krull makes a smashing save. Substitution for Newcastle United. Chick Tioti is going to be replaced by... Alexander Mitrovic. Redmond with the corner. Stones is three and it just bounces wide. Burnley rampant now as we go towards the latter stages of the second half. Stones not far wide. Chumpo Moted. Comes his header out. Aaron's heads it goalwards. Jack Buckland is there. I'll tell you, holding it up well. The ball onto Neymar. Looking for that first Burnley goal. Can he get it this time? He's one on one with Crow again. And he scored! Neymar gets his first, his first ever Burnley goal. And. There is a rapt, it's a big eruption all around because they've wanted him to get this goal for ages and he's finally done it. He's got his revenge on Tim Crow. He made a smart save just minutes ago. And Neymar, when he got one on one again, said, Take that, Tim Crow. And Tim Crow took that. Neymar gets off the mark in stoppage time and that will be a big relief for him. I have no doubts about it. 3 0 to Burnley. And Neymar adds the goals from Jay Rodriguez and Mario Balotelli. And Steve McLaren's side are well beaten now. As Adar Adiara comes forward now in what will be surely the last play of the match. Loftus Sheik gets it out. And Burnley get their victory. Three wins in three com two different competitions in a week. And this one was very comfortable, even though it was 0-0 at the break. Goals from Rodriguez, Balotelli, two guys you'd expect to score, but Neymar, who didn't score until today, finished with summer point in the last minute and gets his first ever Burnley goal and wraps up a comfortable victory for Burnley today. Final score then. With Burnley now well and truly back to winning ways. Three wins in a week in two different competitions. It can't half be bad. Final score then at Turf Moor. Burnley 3, Newcastle United 0. No.
So a very good result in the end for Burnley. Um, the result, I, I think we were going to win the game anyway. Uh, even when it was nil-nil at half-time, we were dominating. Uh, we were better than Newcastle in certain departments, I felt, on, on the day. And I think at the end of the day, I think the right result and they actually occupy the position we started at the at the start of the, at the start of the video we were in 12th going into the game we've now finished it um in ninth place we're gonna but we're actually gonna put chelsea on goal difference believe it or not so that's uh, a good a good thing and we're also now the goal difference is starting to improve a little bit now we're starting to keep one or two clean sheets as well which is uh, we've started to keep clean sheets that's very important we needed a clean sheet against newcastle today we've got one uh we're now up to ninth um we're not we're only about four points off the uh off the top five now so it's not too bad we're also nine points off top so we are starting to sneak back slowly but surely away um so all may not be lost yet but we needed to get on the run but now we've played now after 10 games um we play played 10 obviously we've won four we've drawn two and lost four we've scored 15 we've only scored 15 goals in those 10 games but however we've only conceded eight but we've been losing games by the odd goal so conceding a lot of goals has not been the issue really it's just been conceding the odd one or two there and we've just been haven't been able to take take our chances when it's balling our way previously so it was always going to be that sort of uh it was always going to be that sort of thing really but we're now starting to get our act together we've had we've whacked in six in two league games we also whacked in another two on wednesday in the champions league uh, which was very very which is what we needed really and we're now into the top 10 um which is what which is what we wanted to do we're moving away from that relegation scrap slowly away now where uh, i think we'll be i think we'll be okay we we'll, we'll get back into the top half of the table absolutely no sweat and we'll stay there now because now we've got the winning habit back again that's all for the um that's all for today but we are gonna get our first taste this season of capital one cup action i'm sorry we couldn't bring you the action from the last round against bleakwood we did cover the game we did commentate it but unfortunately we did have one or two technical problems at that and the Leicester City game, uh, which was a complete utter disaster, as as I said uh, in a previous uh, episode. Uh, but we'll take on Fleetwood, so it's a bit of a Lancashire derby. They come to us, uh, so hopefully, hopefully it'll be a, not a problem for us to get the victory. But we've struggled against, we've struggled in cup ties against the likes of local rivals before, like Blackburn. A couple of times and then Preston if you remember last season took us to two games in the FA Cup so uh, we're not going to take Fleetwood for granted Stephen Presley taking over from former Burnley man Graham Alexander so could be a could be a very could be a very tough game uh, indeed but uh, we'll look all to it all the same but that's it from me don't forget to leave a like um, don't forget to leave a like obviously and um, it just proves that you've enjoyed the video and you enjoy what I do and you know, I put a lot of hard work into making these videos. Um, as I say, don't forget to leave a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel, we're now up to... I think the channel now is coming up towards... We're only um, a thousand and a half views away from getting to 50,000. And if we do make it to 50,000 views, I will do a question and answer session for you all. At uh, a little man mark. And I'll do something similar to get to... Uh, to get to, Once we get to 100 subscribers. So a little bit of an incentive for you guys. You can get my subscriptions to 100 subscribers to 100 that'd be fantastic um it would give me a base and i can do a little special a, a, a special q a for example and that would be um uh, that'd be a marvelous thing to do and we'll do it live on on youtube i think if but you need to get the one of these two things 50,000 views or 100 subscribers now i'm going to set a target for the subscribers if we can get to 100 subscribers within the next seven days so i'm talking from now till sunday next sunday so a week on sunday well it's sunday now anyway because i'm recording this at 1 a.m on sunday morning um we can get um if we can get um all the um, subscribers in by by next sunday um then 100 subscribers then we'll do a q a that very live and it will be live 
live streamed on YouTube. Okay, that's it from me. As I said, keep subscribing, keep liking the videos. If you want to tweet as well, don't forget the Twitter address. As always, it's at Stutzy. It's at uh, Stutzy83. Uh, I'd be very happy to. Uh, I'd be very happy to hear from you. But please keep subscribing. We want to get to 100 subscribers. We're 30 subscriptions away from doing that. 31 and 29 subscriptions away. We're on 71 at the moment. We need to get to 100. So come on, incentive. I want to do a Q&A. Get to 100 subscribers within the next week and we'll gladly do a live question and answering session and I'd be delighted to do it. Okay, take care. We'll see you for the next episode of Career Mode very, very soon. Until then, take care and I'll see you later. Ta-ra now.